if you're about to take your first microeconomics midterm and feel like you're about to fail it, I'm a tutor and here's a quick review of everything you need to know. Our next tip here, comparative advantage. My biggest tip with this one is that the other good will go over whenever you're calculating opportunity cost. So like, let's say we got two parties output of oranges and apples. Let's say we wanted to find who has the comparative advantage in producing oranges. So we're gonna take each party's number of apples, the other good, and divide that by their number of oranges to find, in terms of apples, how much it costs each party to produce one orange. The other good apples goes over. Then whoever's got the lower opportunity cost, whoever can produce one orange for less apples is the one who has the comparative advantage. And it's guaranteed that the other party will have the comparative advantage in the other good. It's impossible for one party to have it in both goods. All right, next up here is the supply curve. The big thing I want to take note of here is that it's upward sloping because as price increases along the y-axis, producers are willing to supply more units to the market on the x-axis. This follows the law of supply. and Any change in price does not shift the supply curve. Rather, it just moves us to a new point along the current supply curve and in turn changes quantity supplied. They're separate shifters that change the position of the entire supply curve, but price is only gonna modify the coordinate or point that we lie on the current supply curve. All right, next up here is demand. It's downward sloping because as price increases, consumers demand less units. In same boat here, when price changes, that's only gonna change the coordinate that we lie on the current demand curve and the corresponding quantity demanded along the X axis. Whereas there's demand shifters that change the position of the entire demand curve. I'm taking note of this because I do see problems where it's like, given this change in price, how's that gonna impact demand? It's not, it's gonna impact quantity demand because we're moving to a new point along the current demand curve. All right, last up here, equilibrium. There's three main ways that you need to calculate equilibrium on your test. First, on a graph, just look at the intersection point of the current supply and demand curves, and then derive the corresponding price on the y-axis and quantity on the x. Second, in a table, just look for the row in which the supply and demand equal one another, and then derive the corresponding price. Because that row is essentially the point where the supply and demand curves intersect. It's the price that the market will rest where the quantity supplied equals the quantity demanded. And then third, you'll need to calculate it with equations. Just set them equal to one another and solve for price, and then plug back into either equation to solve for quantity. All right, that is a rundown of the core concepts that you'll face on your first midterm. And remember, if you want me to just teach you this entire class to you, I can in about three hours. Go click the link in my bio to get started with my free concept breakdowns. I've got 95 of them that just walk you through step-by-step step everything you need to know for this class.